Hey, thanks for watching the Drawing for Kids class. This class is offered as a partnership between the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we are going to be drawing these Mola textile designs. These are designs that are made by the Kuna people of Panama and Central America. So Mola designs often feature animals accompanied by bold, colorful, geometric patterns. We're going to be using oil pastels, and if you've got like a colored construction paper uh, for a background, that would be really fun, but if not, you can always just use whatever you have on hand. So these designs are um, originally intended for women um, to wear these designs um, on their blouses. And so you can see this woman here has um, a bunch of design designs behind her as well as one on her blouse. And so it's really cool to kind of see this up close detail here um, of the embroidery and of the design itself. As you can see that they're really bold, super colorful, very geometric, lots of patterns, lots of variation. So we're going to be making our own today. This is an example of mine that I have created as an example for you all. So grab your pencil and sheet of paper. If you've got that colored sheet of paper, that would be great. Now here's my, you can see my little um, example that I'm going to be referring to as I'm drawing this. Our first step is going to just be to draw out your animal. So um, it doesn't have to be a cat. I chose a cat. I like this little um, this mola here I think is a really fun design with the cat and the fish and so I'm choosing that but you could draw anything. You can look back at some of those examples from the beginning. Um, there were a lot of birds, turtles, stuff like that. So um, anyway, first step is going to be drawing in pencil. I wouldn't go straight to your oil pastels yet. I would just use your pencil uh, to draw out the design and then later of course you can add in uh, you know over outline over your pencil lines with your oil pastels so the next step is going to be drawing those shapes so the inside of the animal there's going to be lots of shapes along with some shapes in the background so I'm also drawing um, some leafy shapes here and some stars that are going to be in the background. I will also be using the space around those to draw stripes such as these here. Now some of this you may choose to wait to just do that with oil pastels rather than drawing everything in pencil and then just having to um, you know redraw, re-outline, all of that. So it's up to you the order that you want to do things but whenever you're ready I would go ahead and just start with the outline. So I'm outlining my cat and my um, background, the little leaves, and the stars. I'm choosing bold colors because I'm using dark red paper. I can use white on top and that really pops. So I've now officially outlined all the parts here of my pencil lines. So now I can start filling things in. So you'll notice whenever you see me um, pull, pop back that photo back up, um, you'll see there is a lot of, um, you know, stripes and lines and dotted lines and just all sorts of little teeny tiny marks. There's lots of uh, rings in the shapes. There's just a lot of color as well. So you'll see I'm really taking the time to add in a lot of detail. So this is, you know, this is a time-lapsed video, so you're seeing this on kind of super speed here, but um, you can really see, I hope anyway, still the time that this took probably, I don't know, several hours, I would say maybe three hours or so, just putting in lots of little marks. I'm not saying you have to spend three hours. Um, I just am very, very tedious, I guess. Um, so I, I enjoy working with the details. So really have fun as you're, as you're working with these little stripes and patterns. So now that I've filled in all of the shapes that I have uh, drawn initially there, I'm going to look at that empty space around the shape. So you can see here I'm tracing over the little lines um, within the image reference that I'm using and those little dots, see all of those little things. So that's what I'm going to be adding now. So you can see that the way that those lines and dots and all of those little marks, they all kind of follow the shape, right? They follow the curve of the shape that it's filling in, whether that's in the background space or inside of the cat. So I'm going to add some fun little triangles down here in the tail area. 
I'm going to be mixing it up as I go um, through the whole thing, really, through the whole cat especially, adding lots of variety. Okay, so now that I have that pretty much done, um, again, super speed here, but that's okay, I'm going to fill in that background space. So now you can see I'm using not as fine um, of lines in that background, they're a little bit thicker in the reference image that I'm using, So, but they're all mostly stripes. So I'm going to keep it kind of simple, I'm just going to make sure that I'm using a variety of colors so you can really see the way that I'm mixing that up with my oil pastels here, and I'm doing some outlining around those uh, shapes like the leaves and the stars and then I'm just going to start using my pastels to fill in that space, fill in that, that negative space around the subject matter that I drew. This is such a bold and colorful art project so I really hope that you have enjoyed this opportunity to appreciate and look at the art from another culture and I hope that you've enjoyed today's art project.